I may have just saved this young man's life. For training programs, meal plans, and coaching, make sure you check out khpfitnessandtraining.com. What's going on, fitness seekers all over the world? KHP Fitness, back with another video for you. And man, this is a serious conversation and a story time, as I said in the thumbnail. I wanted to go ahead and let you know that I am an advocate for natural lifting. I think it's the safest, most effective way, if done correctly, to get proper gains, genetics allowed, without complicating yourself in the future. We have enough things to be worrying about when it comes to cancers, outside sources, <laughs> car wrecks, whatever you want to say, man. And then on top of it, you add another addition for a shorter amount of time, something that can have your existence on this planet by 20, maybe even 30 years, depending on what you're doing. There are people that come on and off of cycle, but I never wanted to go that route. I'm not afraid of needles, but I never wanted to go that route. And in my head, I always look at things like, man, am I really doing this or is it because of the drugs, right? Because how do you really know? How do you really know? That's just my view. I don't mean to trigger all those who have jumped to the other side, do more enhanced lifters and such. I trained with enhanced lifters before and they're beast. But I always wanted to be able to be the natural guy keeping up with the beast, which is like a feather in the cap, as they like to say. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump on into it. And you can like, comment, subscribe. If you like this video, tell me about it after. Tell me what you think of the story time. I took the family over to Arcade Monster. Pretty cool place. Got all the arcades and stuff that you want, that you, that you would like to go into and play, man. All the old school game, the Neo Geos. Everything, man. It's a super smooth place. Um, it's 10 minutes, not even, uh, three minutes down the road. Now that I think about it, it's right in, the, right in my plaza. And as we're going through all the game, we're there for about a good 45 minutes to an hour at this point. I see Danielle and KJ playing basketball, they're doing their thing. And I see these young men and they're hitting the punch machine over and over and over, especially the one guy. He just keep hitting the punching machine over and over and over. And I don't know if you've seen my old videos, but I do a little boxing myself. I, I'm pretty well versed in the skills of martial arts. Never competed or anything. Just like to do it to protect people, become strong, just like the training. I didn't want to just be the lifter who couldn't fight. So I had to learn how to fight too. And I got into a lot of fights growing up too. He finally gets an 800 and he stops. His friend hits it. They're getting it pretty clean. 785, 800, boom, boom, boom. And then here I come, I was like, mind if I jump in? And then I did, I jumped on in. I hit it with the elbow first. So yeah, like 745, hit it with eight, hit the 800 out there. When I went ahead and did the stagger step, boom, knocked it with the stagger step. 813, other side, boom, matched it. 813 on the other side, so I was holding my strength on both sides was pretty cool. One guy comes in, young man, actually. Young guy, this guy is a, a specimen, man. He's 205 pounds, six foot three, at 17 years old. That's crazy. Like, I don't understand, people don't, don't know, but me and him weigh the same, <laughs> damn near. I'm probably about 206, 207 at this point. But even then, that, that's because I do have a little bit more muscle in my, my frame. And I'm at about six foot two. And so he's damn near at me at 17. So the boy has so much, the young man, let me correct that, has so much growth potential. And we were sitting there talking about, hey man, how do you do this? Like, he's like, he's, it's awesome. You can hit it from both sides. Cause he tried to take a punch on the other side and he wasn't doing as well with his left, but his right hand, carried like 865 the boy was a specimen and i was he was asking me what are you boxing i was like i just do this freelance man i just like to train i like to show people what i can do and what i've done and give them some defense and some cardio in the midst of i think it's a dope thing and so he was like man that's awesome and we started talking about his friends he asked me are you natural which was a compliment in itself he's like how much do you bench and all of this like that i was like well i switched over to bands 
But even when I wasn't doing bands, I would, I would have some pretty good numbers. And he was like, that's pretty cool. But I was like, it was a long time ago, man. These old knees and back ain't what they used to be. He was like, yeah, so many people just jumping on. And, and I was like, man, have you heard about Joe Linder? And he's like, yeah, man, that's, that was crazy. And he was like, and, and, and I have friends who are doing it now. And I said, like, friends that are doing what? He was like, yeah, they're doing steroids. I said, for real? He was like, man. And I said, how old are they? He was like, the one's 18, one's 19. And I'm like, crazy. It's crazy how young they are jumping on this stuff. So when you see all of these videos of the dark size of teenage steroids and such, this is a real thing. This is right in my town in Melbourne, Florida where these guys are that young on drugs. And he thought of, he was thinking about it because he was like, oh, you know, I, I took me two, it took me almost two years to get like two plates on and stuff like that. And I was thinking about it and I told him, I said, don't, don't do it, man. Don't freaking do it. I said, you are 17 years old. I said, give your buddy 10 years, you'll be 27. And you'll have so much, you have so much growth potential. You just keep yourself healthy you eat correctly, you sleep correctly, you train correctly, and you will probably even outgrow your friends. And if you don't outgrow them, know that you did it naturally and you can have a pretty close comparison of them because you did it younger and you have so much growth potential. Keep yourself healthy, don't get injured, and you'll be good to go. And he was like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm definitely gonna stay natural, man. Your, 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 your words really helped me with that. And that right there hit me because I was like, wow, just to be able to, I don't even know this kid, just met him, just to be able to spend 10 minutes with him and, and, and big brother him and, and pull him away from that dark side because a lot of these cats are just doing it recreational. They're not competing. They're, they don't have any, any injuries to do it or anything of that nature. And they're just doing it just because it looks fun. And I was like, bro, don't do it, man. Please don't do it. I said, I'm going to check up on you because he followed me on Instagram. Shout out to him. And I told him, I'm going to check up on you, man, in about three months. And I'm going to see how you're doing. Because he was like, he was over training too. So he was going like to the gym six days a week. And he was like boxing three days a week. And I'm like, bro, pull that back three days a week for training. Just push it when you're there. And then keep up your boxing for your cardio and keep eating correctly and you'll be fine, man. But to be able to sway him away was a big thing for me. So I'm glad I was able to do that. <sighs> man, it's it's so it's it's so crazy. It's like the new the new epidemic happening here with these kids who just want to look good in front of the camera. Everybody wants 20 inch arms and, and this and that and this. And it's like, you don't, you don't need all that, man. You need to be strong for you, your confidence and the people you protect at the end of the day, because all the trophies and accolades that don't really mean much in the grand scheme of things. You can pursue it. But when it came down to the nitty gritty, you just want to be able to defend yourself and take care of the people that you love, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this story, man. As I said before, like, comment, and subscribe, man. I, I think I'll do more story times like this if something perceives itself and just talk about it, man. The, the, the dangers of steroids, man. I've, I've seen it myself. I've seen it too many times. Dudes who look phenomenal, six packs, everything, and, and dropping right in the middle of the gym. <clears throat> what is it? What does it work for? Because like I said, it just exasperates anything that you got going on. And phew, these topics need to be touched on. And I know there's some way bigger channels talking about it, but I wanted to do my part for the people that do follow me. Like I said, it's not where you train, it's how you train. Stay healthy, stay fit, stay natural. And I'll talk to you guys soon.